Grace and peace to you, and welcome to our Palm Sunday festival. And thank you for coming to Fellowship Hall to begin our worship service. We will be processing, journeying into the sanctuary uh, as a way of representing Christ's own entrance into the holy city this day. Uh, as we do journey into the sanctuary, please remember to keep singing. We're all good Lutherans. We don't necessarily need Becky leading us all the time. So. Uh, she will be leading us while we're in here, but then uh, the choir will lead us as we go into the nave, and then Becky will join back in when she's able to get up to the organ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Our 40 days of Lent are coming to an end. For 40 days, 40 nights, the we have heard that after Jesus was transfigured, he came down from the mountain and went on the way to Jerusalem, the way of the cross, the way God had set for him for our salvation. Jesus commissioned his disciples and sent them out ahead of him to proclaim the good news and prepare his way. For years, God let his people in the Pharisees tried to turn Jesus away from the way of the cross. For forty days our Lord fasted in the desert before he was tempted by the devil. Yet all along the way, Jesus has remained focused on God's plan and faithful to the way he, he has set for him. In these last hours of our forty-day fast, we ask God to narrow our focus on his plan for us and mold in our faith to Listen for the word of the Lord according to the Gospel of Luke. Then Jesus took the twelve aside and said to them, See, we are going to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked and insulted and spat upon. After they have flogged him, they will kill him, and on the third day he will rise again. But they could not put this together in their minds, because understanding was being hidden from them by God, so they did not know. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus, 
glorifying God, and all the people, when they saw it, praised God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? Just say this, The Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as Jesus had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? The disciples said, The Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Let us raise our palm branches for blessing. And please stand. Thank you. We praise and thank you, O God, for the great acts of love by which you save us through your Son. On this day, he entered the holy city of Jerusalem like a king in triumph and glory, hailed by his disciples who laid cloaks on the road in honor of his coming. We ask that you bless these branches of palm that we now raise in his honor. Fill us with the spirit that filled those disciples on this day so that we will ever proclaim peace and glory in his name. Awaken our commitment to follow him wherever he leads and on whatever journey he will take us. May his coming among us here be as much a blessing to us as it was to your people in the holy city long ago. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And those leading and those following Jesus were shouting, Hosanna, blessing for the one coming in the name.
Keep us ever faithful in the way you have set before us, that in the end we will enter into the eternal glory of your holy city, where you reign with your Son and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. He said that's the Lord is forever. Let Israel say, He said that's the Lord is forever. Let the house of Aaron say, He said that's the Lord is forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, He said that's the Lord is forever. Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and said to me in all things. With the Lord on my side, I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in my eye on those who me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to go to love kindness to mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to go to love kindness to mortals. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They blazed like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right, the right hand of the Lord is valiantly. The, right the right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live. And return to the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely. But he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them, and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me, and have become my salvation. The stone that the Lord rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is the marvelous This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, and I will soul you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. <clears throat> Then the prophet Elisha called a member of the company of prophets and said to him, Gird up your loins, take this flask of oil in your hand, and go to Ramoth Gilead. When you, were, when you arrive, look there for Jehu, son of Jehoshaphat, son of Nimshi. Go in and get him to leave his companions and take him into an inner chamber. Then take the flask of oil, pour it on his head, and say, Thus says the Lord, I anoint you king over Israel. Then open the door and flee. Do not linger. So the young man, the young prophet, went to Ramoth Gilead. He arrived while the commanders of the army were in council, and he announced, I have a message for you, commander. For which one of us? asked Yehu. For you, commander. So Yehu got up and went inside. The young man poured the oil on his head, saying to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I anoint you king over the people of the Lord, over Israel. Then he opened the door and fled. When Yehu came back to his master's officers, they said to him, Is everything all right? Why did that madman come to you? He answered them, You know the sort and how they babbled. 
They said, liar, come on, tell us. So he said, this is just what he said to me. Thus says the Lord, I anoint you king over Israel. Then hurriedly they all took their cloaks and spread them for him on the bare steps, and they blew the trumpet and proclaimed, Yehu is king. This is the word of the Lord. surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you. They will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. Then Jesus entered the temple, and he began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a cave for bandits. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him, but they did not find anything that they could do, for all the people hung upon him. Listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ.
confess our faith together with the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, Homage, joy, and worship. We follow in Jesus' footsteps today as we process with waving palms and songs of praise to our King. And through the words of Jesus, we are with him as, he, as his journey takes him into Jerusalem. We can imagine the excitement of the people welcoming him as King, but we can also imagine the emotions that Jesus is feeling knowing what he is going to endure for them, for us. Thank you, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Let us pray. Father God, you gave the living word through your Son, whom you sent to dwell among us. The disciples were taught by him, and in turn they shared it with others to form a community of believers. In our churches today, we are still blessed by hearing it. Holy Spirit, please help today's apostles to be faithful to the word and continue to pass it on. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we know that as Jesus approached Jerusalem, he wept over it because it did not know the way of peace. We too are weeping over Ukraine because their peace has been destroyed along with much of their country and many lives. We ask you to be with their leaders, defenders, and all civilians to bring peace to their land and to the hearts, minds, and souls of all. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, Lord God, thank you for the renewal of spring. Nature's lesson for us is that there is new life, new creation, not only for the earth, but for your children too. Lord, in your mercy. Father God, especially during this holy week, we are reminded of the pain and suffering Jesus endured as a human being on our behalf. But he was never alone. You were with him. For those of your children who are in mental, emotional, or physical pain, please reassure them that you are also with them. Inspire us to reach out with care, compassion, and concern so that those who need your reassurance may feel your love and presence. We now raise up to you those on Grace's prayer list and those we now name aloud or silently in our hearts. As we have prayed for others, Lord, we now ask you to hear our prayers for ourselves. From time to time, we all have shortcomings, worries, and fears, but we know that you hear us when we pray and guide us in this life and on the way home to you. Lord, in your mercy. Your 
It is into your hands, O Lord, that we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Peace. Peace. Peace.
that we may come to the help of all in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and the Lord. Amen.
Please stand. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Holy, let us pray. Holy and generous Lord, for this feast of remembering and reminding, we give you thanks. For the fellowship of your people around this table, we give you thanks. For the grace and peace that now fills our souls through the bread and the wine, we give you thanks. Now, with renewed strength and restored hope, send us out to walk even more faithfully in the way you would have us go, planting the good seeds of your kingdom in all that we do and say. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated for the reading of the Passion of our Lord according to the Gospel of Luke. Every day he was teaching in the temple, and at night he would go out and spend the night on the Mount of Olives, as it was called. And all the people would get up early in the morning to listen to him in the temple. Now, the festival of unleavened bread, which is called the Passover, was near. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers of the temple police about how he might hand him over to them. They were greatly pleased and agreed to give him money. So he consented and began to look for an opportunity to hand him over to them when no crowd was present. Then came the day of unleavened bread on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover meal for us, that we may eat it. Where do you want us to make preparations for it? Listen, when you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house he enters, and say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks you, Where is the guest room? where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. He will show you a large room upstairs, made furnished. Make preparations for us there. So they went and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When the hour came, he took his place at the table and the apostles with him. I have a great longing to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Take this cup and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, thanked, broke, and gave, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for my remembrance. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But behold, the one who hands me over is with me, and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined, but my heart is heavy for that man by whom he is handed over. Then they began to ask one another which one of them it could be who would do this. A dispute also arose among them as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. The king of the Gentiles lorded over them, 
and those in authority hold them to call benefactors, but it is not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must be like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you just as my Father has conferred on me a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on the thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your own faith may not fail, and you, when once you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. I tell you, Peter, the cock will not crow this day until you have denied three times that you know me. When I sent you out without a purse, bag, or sandals, did you lack anything? No, not a thing. But now the one who has a purse must take it, and likewise those with a bag must take it too. And the one who has no sword must sell his cloak and buy one. For I tell you, this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was counted among the lawless. And indeed, what is written about me is being fulfilled. Lord, behold, here are two swords. It is enough. Jesus came out of the place where they were dining and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. The disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of prayer. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down, and prayed. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came. And the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. Judas, is it with a kiss that you are handing over the Son of Man? When those who were around him saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, should we strike with the sword? Then one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. No more of this. And Jesus touched his ear and healed him. Have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were a bandit? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour and the authority of darkness. Then they seized him and led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. Peter was following at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the firelight, stared at him. This man also was with him. Woman, I do not know him. You also are one of them. Man, I am not. Surely this man also is with him, for he is a Galilean. Man, I do not know who you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the words of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Now the men who were holding Jesus began to mock him and beat him. They also blindfolded him. Prophesy? Who is it that struck you? They kept heaping many other insults on him. When day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribe, gathered together, and they led him away to their council. If you are the Messiah, tell, tell us. us. If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I question you, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. Are, are you then the Son of God? God? You say that I am. 
What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Then the assembly rose as a body and brought Jesus before Pilate. We found the sin perverting our nation, permitting to pay the taxes to the emperor, and saying that he himself is the Messiah, not me. Be you the king of the Jews? You say so. I find no basis for accusation against this man. Is this man a Galilean? Yes. Then he is under the jurisdiction of King Herod. Take this man to him for judgment. Now, when Herod saw Jesus, he was very glad, for he had wanted to see him for a long time. Herod had heard about him and was hoping to see him perform some sign. Herod questioned him at some length, but Jesus gave him no answer. The chief priests and the scribes stood by, vehemently accusing him. Even Herod, with his soldiers, treated him with contempt and mocked him. Then Herod put an elegant robe on Jesus and sent him back to Pilate. That same day, Herod and Pilate became friends with each other. Before this, they had been enemies. Pilate then called together the chief priests, the leaders, and the people. You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people, and now I have examined him in your presence. And I have not found this man guilty of your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. Indeed, he has done nothing to deserve death. I will therefore have him flogged and release him. Away with this fellow, release Barabbas for us. Barabbas was a man who had been put in prison for an insurrection that had taken place in the city and for murder. Pilate, wanting to release Jesus, addressed them again, but they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Why, what evil has he done? I have found in him no ground for the sentence of death. I will therefore have him flogged and then release him. But they raised great voices, asking for him to be crucified, and their voices prevailed. Pilate gave his verdict that their request should be granted, and he released the man they asked for, the one who had been put in prison for insurrection and murder, and handed Jesus over to their will. As they led him away, they seized the man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of people followed him. Among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore, and the breast that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others also who were criminals were led away to, to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching.
the soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine. If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, this is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who was hanging there blasphemed him, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we, indeed, have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Jesus, remember us, remember me, when you come into your kingdom. Truly, I tell you this day, you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, having called out in a great voice, said, Father, into your hands I command my spirit. And saying this, he breathed his last. Behold, when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly, this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for the spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance, watching these things. Now there was a good and righteous man named Joseph, who, though a member of the council, had not agreed to their plan and action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea, and he was waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took it down, wrapped it in a linen cloth, and laid it in a rock-hewn tomb where no one had ever been laid. It was the day of preparation, and the Sabbath was coming, a Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come with him from Galilee followed him. And they saw the tomb and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointments. On the Sabbath they rested according to the command.
schedule of services is in the back of your bulletin. We go in peace. Yes, sir. Come on.